Hey everybody, what's up? It's Speed Demon here, and welcome to my Super Smash Bros. 4 Nintendo 3DS character leak. So in today's video, I will be talking about all the characters that have been leaked. So I hope you guys enjoy. The character leaks were from a guy on Twitch named Hamayama, and what happened is he got the game early in Japan, and he played it and streamed the game over Twitch for at least 13 hours non-stop. And people have been watching him and watching him get all the characters and stages and everything else. The first character is Ness. Now, Ness, of course, is going to be in the game. I mean, how would you not have Ness in it? He's been in the game since Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64, which is the first game. And there's no way that they could leave him out. I mean, preferably, I like Lucas better just because of his smash attack, but Ness is definitely a character that should be in the game. Next character is Falco. Falco is from Star Fox, and of course, I mean, the game would be kind of at a loss without him. Falco's like a really good character. I mean, he's kind of a clone in some aspects, but I think I like... Fox more, but Falco is a lot, f a lot of fun. Like really, uh, I know a lot of people are sad that Wolf isn't in it, but I mean, Wolf was another clone character. They all had the same smash. Uh, they all had the same smash attack. It was all the same. Their final smash was the same. So, but I'm happy that Falco's in the game. Next character, Dark Pit. Now, Dark Pit was kind of a surprise to me. Because, you know, Pit's already in the game. But I'm really excited for Dark Pit. Just because, like, I could think of all the different moves that he could have. And look, he has, like, a different kind of sword thing or whatever. And that looks really awesome to me. So I'm really excited about Dark Pit. And he looks like a fun character to use. Next character, Duck Hunt Dog. Again, kind of a surprise to me. Because he's kind of an older game like a long time ago in the 80s but he's a cool character and I, I see I want to see how he works and all of his different things as you can see there he's like throwing like dynamite and stuff and how the how he works with the duck and all of his final smash stuff and I'm really excited for him next character Ganondorf now Ganondorf I knew was going to be in the game just because he he was actually leaked because there was a picture of Pikachu on a stage, and you could see on the side of the stage in the little circle when it shows that someone's off the level was Ganondorf. So I knew that Ganondorf was going to be in the game, I just didn't know when they were going to release him. So this one, I knew that was going to be in there. Next character, Dr. Mario. Now this one was like a really big surprise to me. They had him in Melee, but they didn't put him back in Brawl. Because... Personally, he is definitely a clone character, and I didn't know why they brought him back in. He has some different moves. His final smash is the same as Mario's, except with pills. He throws pills instead of fireballs, but I don't know. It says that he was brought back into the game for melee players that didn't, that were new, and like they didn't like all the new characters, and they wanted someone from melee, so they brought him back. But I don't know how I feel about this one. This one's definitely a shocker to me. Next character, Mr. Game & Watch. Now, Mr. Game & Watch is not my favorite. I don't like how he moves and how he's kind of more 8-bit kind of thing. Like, he moves in sets instead of flowing. A lot of people like him, but I just don't see it. He's okay, I guess. His moveset's alright. He can be strong sometimes, but I don't know how I feel about this one. Next character. Yeah, that's right, Wario. Wario is in the game. This one, of, I mean, how could you have a game without Wario? He's Mario's evil brother or whatever, but he's a cool character. I'm happy that they actually brought back his biker outfit. And as you can see there, Charizard is purple, which is really cool, so we get to see a skin costume. But Wario, I'm definitely happy about him being back in the game, and I really want to try him out. Next character, Jigglypuff. Now, Jigglypuff has been in the game since the N64, which is the first game, and 
I was honestly surprised that I thought they weren't going to have her, but how could you have a game without Jigglypuff? She's the fifth Pokemon character, and probably, and is the last. But Jigglypuff's a good character. If you actually use her and take the time with her, she can be a really good character. Next character, Bowser Jr., or as it says, Koopa Jr., because this is in the Japanese. You know, I was really happy about this one, just because they were going to have him in the N64, but they didn't have enough time to put him in. That kind of made me sad, because I think he would be a really fun character, as he does use his Koopa Clown car, and I think that's really cool. It makes it really unique, and I want to see where it can go. As well as that, all his eight costumes are the eight Koopalings in the game. See, so we have Iggy, Mort Morton, Lemmy, uh, let's see, who else? Larry, Roy, Wendy, I can't find that one, I don't know who it is, and Ludwig. And these are really cool. I like how he doesn't have different colors, it's actually the different Koopalings. That one I'm really excited about. Last character is Rob, or it says right there, Robot, which is kind of dumb, but Rob, <laughs> I was very surprised that they put him back in the game. You know, he wasn't very popular, he was the joke character, but I think it's kind of funny that they brought him back in. His new Final Smash is awesome, it's like a triple laser beam, but I don't feel good about this one. I don't know, I just thought it was like really funny and they just did it as a joke, but... I don't know, I thought they could use someone else in the roster instead of Rob. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I don't know if you tallied up all the characters that I talked about, but that was 12 characters that they did not announce. So that makes the roster up to 49 characters, including the Mii Fighters. So I hope you guys are super excited. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Ratings are appreciated. Remember to like and subscribe and... Comment if you want more stuff about Super Smash Bros, and I will see you guys later.